This back to school season will be more challenging than any we've seen. And there's a big concern that we haven't discussed as much. It's not from the teachers and it's not from the parents' point of view, but the students' point of view. Brooke's here to help us understand and tell us what we might be able to do to help them. Hey Rob, so when teens were asked how they felt about the upcoming school year, the top three uh, characteristics of that would have been nervous, stressed, as well as feeling uncertain. No surprise there with the last six months that we've been dealing with and then looking ahead to that future there. The Allstate Foundation was behind the survey of about a thousand teens who voiced concerns over remote learning, the coronavirus, the financial crisis, and then the racial tensions. It found the need for skills such as empathy, stress management, and resilience are all critical aspects to success in life. The Allstate Foundation is offering free social and emotional learning right now to help cope with today's world and it's showing great progress. Those youth who have social emotional learning skills are shown to have 11 percentage point uh, increases in grades and test scores. It increases uh, graduation rates, uh, post-secondary co completion, employment rates and average wages. To me, that's a wow. That's something I think that every parent should know. Um, it also decreases dropout rates, school and classroom behavior issues, teen pregnancies, mental health problems, and criminal behavior. Now, there is a program for building life skills, another for daily mindfulness to reduce anxiety and anger. There are also tools for parents for those discussions about racism, providing constructive dialogue about privilege and prejudice. And if talking is not your strong point, maybe journaling is. One of the best ways to explore your own emotions and to start to articulate those and understand those is through private reflection. And so this guide helps them with that. It helps them process emotions in a very productive way and a very um, private way so that they can start to understand those and then it become, can become um, a fam family conversation possibly. All of these resources are free online, many already translated in Spanish as well. And according to the Allstate Foundation, they say that social and emotional learning is even more effective than the academic learning, if not as effective, saying that this is going to be vital to the success of our youth in the coming weeks, months, if not years, especially with the pandemic going on. And they say you shouldn't just start this type of learning if you see any kind of complications or issues within your kids right now. They say any time is a good time to start. Guys.